Candice Cameron Bure has spoken out after being called the rudest celebrity teen sensation Jojo Siwa has ever met. The 19-year-old So You Think You Can Dance judge took to TikTok on July 24 to partake in a trend that asks people to reveal their best and worst celebrity interactions, and unfortunately, the Fuller House star, 46, did not score well with Jojo. In response, Candace shared a video on Instagram to address the situation and said she was taken back by the slight. Honestly I was shocked when I saw the TikTok on Sunday and had no idea where it came from and so I immediately tried to reach out to her through a mutual friend, Candace explained. She also noted her publicist contacted JoJo's manager and that she also direct messaged her on social media. Candace's efforts led to a phone call between the two on the morning of July 26. Candace then gave her Instagram followers a play-by-play -play of the great conversation and said the dance mom's alum admitted she had no idea her post would go viral because it was just a silly TikTok trend that wasn't a big deal to her. In fact, Candace claimed Jojo didn't want to tell her what had happened all those years ago because she felt bad, especially after they had such a great time together on the Kelly Clarkson show in 2019. However, Candace eventually found out that she had declined a photograph with an 11-year-old Jojo at the Fuller House premiere but then snapped pictures with other people, which hurt her feelings at the time. Recalling the conversation, Candace said, she goes, I get it now as an adult when you're on the red carpet and everything's happening and you're being pulled in different directions, but at that time I was 11, and I go, I broke your 11-year-old heart, ugh. I feel crummy. Jojo, I'm so sorry. Candace said that Jojo assured her once again it wasn't a huge issue with her now, but Candace continued to express her sorrow over the situation. Please, no. Especially as a mom, it breaks my heart that I made you feel that way and I'm sorry to your mom, too, that I did that to her daughter because I know if anyone crosses my kids, you know Mama Bear comes out, the Christmas Town star said. She ended her discussion about JoJo by reflecting on the lessons learned from the squash drama. All good, all good on the JoJo front, she noted. And I think the lesson we can learn is to be mindful that no matter how many followers you have, you know, even a 10 second trending TikTok video can do damage because our words matter and our actions matter, we all influence the people around us. We influence people watching us on TikTok, we influence the people that we are with at home and to be mindful of what we do post even if it's just kinda meant to be innocent and fun at the time. She also praised Jojo for being a positive role model throughout her whole life and career. The actress also took a moment to apologize to anyone she has unintentionally offended. I'm just gonna say on a side note, if you ever personally run into me and I was not the person you were hoping for or expecting, I just wanna say I'm sorry, she said. Sorry in the sense that I get asked for photos and autographs often and 99% of the time it is my joy to do that, but I'm still a human being. All public people are and sometimes you have bad days and sometimes you're stressed out. Sometimes you're just in your own head that you're not even really paying attention to what's going on around you. She concluded, there may be one moment in your life, and you may have been that person that wasn't at their best or you may have been on the receiving end of someone that wasn't at their best, but that shouldn't define the person and their character if it's a one-time thing. And that is your full house lesson of the day.